Since 2017, mobile devices have been contributing to a little over half of all of the internet's traffic to our websites. And with such a huge stake in the game, it only makes sense to give marketers more power and control over mobile browsing. This is why we've been working on Exit Intent for Mobile, which is the next great feature to come to pop-up forms. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set it up and how it behaves on the visitor's end. Go ahead and select your form type with its template and move to the design stage. We'll design our form by entering all the elements that we need in an exit intent pop-up form by putting in a captivating offer. In the appearance section, you set the parameters such as trigger tabs, content gate, branding, etc. And once you've set these, you will move to the behavior section. Next, just select the behavior rules for your form under when to show. For this form, we'll turn off show on page load and we'll leave the second option on, which is show on exit. All you have to do to enable mobile exit intent is to make sure your forms are turned on for mobile devices. MailMunch will do the rest for you. Hit next and publish the form. Now, whenever you have potential subscribers on your landing page browsing through content on a mobile device, the mobile exit intent feature is triggered by any of these actions. Switching tabs. If the subscriber hit the tabs button to switch pages, hitting the back button, when a subscriber tries to go back one page and entering a new URL or when a subscriber taps on the address bar to enter a new URL. This is an extremely productive feature considering most of us surf the internet on our smartphones. And now with mobile exit intent, you have just as much control of your forms on mobile devices as you did on desktop. If you'd like to find out more about MailMunch in a detailed one-to-one -one demo, feel free to schedule a time with our team using the link in the description.